Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. I wanted to talk a little bit about faith and family and community and and uh, productivity, you know. So I figured uh, try to kind of get my thoughts a little bit more organized and because I usually just do these rambling stories that don't really have any, you know, theme. I just start the video and start talking. I want to tell, you know, to me, the most important thing, more important than everything else is faith. You know, your faith in God and submission to God um, is the most, you know, that's more important than everything else. And so you have to work on that every day and so, you know, and keep it the most important thing in your life. Um, a lot of these problems our society is suffering right now are a result of a lack of faith. And, uh, you know, both uh, capitalism and democracy were created by religious people for religious people. And the people who did it understood. They wrote about, you know, this ain't gonna work if, if the people are, you know, aren't religious because that's where you get your moral compass. You know, your, your, you know, amoral people. You know, because capitalism and democracy are both amoral. They're just they're not immoral. They're just amoral. They don't. They're not a moral system. That one, you know, and so you have to get that from your religion. That's the only place you get that is from your religion. And everybody has a religion, whether they believe it or not. You know, it's their belief system. And, uh, you know, so the main thing you have to understand is that God makes the religion of God. And there's only one God, and he makes the religion. And uh, it's not a matter of choice. It's, you know, it's what God says it is. And. You know, and he's left plenty of, you know, he, he's not like keeping it a secret or anything like that. It's pretty out there for every anybody who wants to can look at it and study it and learn and practice it in their lives. And it's the faith and it's submission to God and it's, there's a manifestation of God, always has been, always will be, you know, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Krishna, Muhammad, Buddha, you know, these are all the manifestations of God, Baha'u'llah, and they, they're the divine teachers who God sends every once in a while to teach us their religion of God, and we follow that, you know, and like Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, the light, there's no other way to God, and you know, you can't reject the manifestation of God, and you know, there, that's just the way God created the universe, you know, it's, you know, that's just the way it is, so, and that's okay with me, you know, I, I'm, you know, I, I want to be a lot better, I'm not a really all that great of a Baha'i, I'm kind of a pretty, I grew up in a very contentious, you know, environment with like drugs and fighting and immorality, all kinds of immorality, and I'm, you know, trying to improve that about myself and I'm making a lot of progress but I still have a lot of progress to make and uh, uh, you know so I've been wondering about this whole thing about private property you know and the whole issue between capitalism and communism and and what Baha'u'llah says about that you know and I was reading this morning about how God owns all the pr property. And so my idea about owning your means of production, um, maybe it's not a, maybe the, the, what's coming up next, this world order of Bahá'u'lláh, maybe there won't be private ownership of the means of production. And, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, it's like, it actually, I can understand it. You know, that's kind of, the thing I don't like about communism isn't the communal organization, the way, you know, it's the totalitarian, you know, the man-made, you know, the thing. 
where you have this ruling class telling everybody else what to do. That's what I don't like. You know, and I, even the Baha'i faith even has kind of that too in a certain sense. You, we elect the leaders and, and they, you know, and we have to follow them. You know, that's what uh, they, they're, they have a job to, you know, decide what for, for the community. You know, we have a leadership system, which makes sense. I don't really have a problem with that. I, I you know, I was in the military and I kind of respect that military chain of command business and all that. The one thing I don't agree with and this in the Baha'i faith is it's the covenant of Baha'u'llah that makes it impossible for any man or woman to try to take control of the kingdom of God, you know, because it's like that's the one thing that will get you thinking you're more important than anybody else is the one thing that will get you, you know, shunned by the people of Baha. And uh, so, you know, don't ever think you're better than anybody else or worse than anybody else. You know, you're better or what do you call it? You know, you're not. Nobody is inferior or superior to anybody else. That's just the way God made it, you know, and that's part of the structure of reality. And um, but uh, and then the other one, family, you know, getting married and having kids. That's one of the. It's a feature of human nature that's never going to change, and. Um, it's part of biology, actually, you know, and the, the law of marriage part of it is kind of what separates human beings from wild animals. You know, the, you know, distinguishes would be a better word to say, it. you know, the human kingdom of life is distinct, separate and distinct from the animal kingdom. And the law of marriage is one of the f main reasons why the, the, the faith is the main reason why, but also the law of marriage, you know, we don't just have sex with, and it's not a, you know, like the strongest, you know, gets all, all the girls or anything like that. It's like, there's the law of marriage. The divine law of marriage is a, one man gets married to one woman and they have kids and raise a family and all that. And they have, you know, I'm not sure how they're gonna figure out that private property thing, but we'll see. And, um, there's no, you know, the community, you know, you know, the, whole, the thing about marriage, you know, the parents, another thing, you got to respect your parents. Not only do the kids need love and affection, your parents need love and respect. And uh, you should respect your parents. The parents, they have no right to, uh, you know, pick your, your spouse, you know, your, and they have no right to interfere in your marriage but they do have a right to say whether you can marry somebody or not you know just that one part where they you have to get written permission from both all biological parents in order to get married and that is because the the family is really a very super important part of human nature and civilization and it needs to be protected and it needs to be nurtured. And this is one of the ways we do that because marriage affects not just the two people that are getting married, but it affects the whole entire family because they become relatives and all this and that and everything. And plus there's the issue of, you know, for the one obvious problem is with old men taking advantage of young girls and stuff like that. And vice versa, but most of the time it's the men taking, you know, advantage of young girls. And so another thing is, you know, the age of consent is 15. At 15 when you're 15 years old, you can start making decisions for yourself. And uh, before that, the parents pretty much have, it's their right and their responsibility to protect their kids and raise their children. And the state, we need the state. The state is important, and I'm not, you know, and we, we need the state to do its job, but we need the state to serve and protect the people, not rule over us. You know, God is our ruler, and each person studies the Word of God and pra practices the faith in their own life to the best of their ability, and the state has no right to interfere with that. 
and but they do we do need the state to serve and protect the people of earth and uh you know and the community is the whole entire planet earth you know you're going to have your local community and that's there's a lot of stuff going on there that you need to take care of and be responsible for take care of your neighborhood clean don't litter whatever you do don't litter i can't imagine i can't believe how much trash there is on the ground you know that's what a disgusting you know habit that is why anybody would throw a piece of garbage on the ground is just like it's like one of the most dishonorable things you can do you know so you know there's plenty of garbage cans put the trash in the garbage can and you put it away clean up after yourself if you make a mess accidentally clean up after yourself and then there's uh Oh, and racism is, is, it's retarded. I know people want to get rid of that word retarded, but I don't agree. I believe, for one thing, I believe in free speech. And second of all, that's exactly what racism is. It's retarded. As in held back, uncivilized, barbaric. And that, and so that's exactly the right word to describe racism. And, um, it's immoral. It's a you know it's a sin against God, and so all human beings are equal. All you know and it, you know I wish you know I say I talk a lot about that equality and I do agree with that. You know people are created equal, and they have but they have talents. Different people have different talents. You know some people are smarter than others and all this and there's differences. You know people are not the same. They're equal, but they're not the same. And and our our system, I believe that our system, it should have some a, a balance between merit based, you know, and you, you you earn rewards by being productive, and the more productive you are, the more rewards you get. And then we're talking material rewards here. You know, spiritual ones too, I suppose. But what I'm talking about is your material prosperity and stuff like that. And, um, but there also, it needs to be real. The economy, I like free enterprise. I like private property of free enterprise. But I also understand that that needs to be well regulated. You know, how do you protect? Because I believe most people, or maybe not most people, but a lot of people, are going to want to work in their own private enterprise, not in some big giant corporation. And and we need our the state needs to protect those small businesses from unfair business practices by big business because big business has a lot of resources that they can use as leverage to, you know, buy up all the small businesses. That's a, they did that with the farms. And now, from what I've been hearing, they're trying to do that with the houses. And we need to stop it. You know, we, we've got uh, these corporations are valuable enterprises. And I, you know, I like what they're, you know, they produce a lot of really cool things. You know, I like the Internet. I like, I like technology. I like skyscrapers, cities, or beautiful, you know, art. They're 21st century Pueblos is a city. And, and they're, you know, and we want to make them as comfortable as possible, you know, for people, for the people who live in them, you know, and make it easy for people to earn a living, make it, you know, prosperous for everybody, not just some of the people, everybody needs to be prosperous. We got to get rid of the drugs. The drugs are devastating human nature and civilization. We got to stop it. Use whatever means necessary. You start with education and you, you know, the next thing is, uh, treatment and you use the law enforcement you know not I, I say pretty much zero not zero tolerance for drug abuse you know and especially drug trafficking and um, use military force as final you know and, and, and everything all out and put this stop to this right now as fast as possible it's like the most it's, you know, you want to talk about, you think coronavirus is a, is a plague on the earth? Not even close, man. Drug abuse is the plague 
of this generation of human nature and civilization. And we got to stop it, or, or, or our civil our civilizations are they're 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 disintegrating. You know, there there's kind of a new civilization starting up that's actually causing the old civilizations to disintegrate so you know but that's a, what it is you know this one universal and divine civilization that Mahawa founded is just getting started and then there's uh, product being productive you have to be productive in order to be healthy you know you got to produce stuff you know something valuable and trade it in the free marketplace in order to earn your food and shelter and stuff like that, you know, and it's, it's just part of human nature, you know, psychology, if you're not productive, even if you're rich and, you know, you're inheriting millions of dollars from your parents, if you're not being productive in some way, you're going to be sick, you're not going to be very happy, you're going to just kind of be miserable. Oh, I'm sure people are thinking they're happy, but no, they're not. You know, uh, you have to be productive. And uh, no matter, you know, what, even the handicapped people can can be be, be productive. You, we got to figure out ways for them to be productive. And, uh, you know, art, you know, there's going to be a lot of artists. We need art. You know, in order for these cities to be sustainable, they need to be comfortable. And people need to be able to enjoy living in them. And, you know, and so you want it to be beautiful. And so produce a lot of art. Earth is life on Earth is an adventure. You know, make your life an adventure. Have fun, and uh, you know, love and respect every single human being. Love and respect the whole entire human race. And um, there's this new civilization evolving on this planet that is the whole entire Earth and the whole entire human race. And the, the planet Earth, we're terraforming Earth from a wild, from a wilderness into a beautiful garden, and that's a good thing. And we need to clean it up. You know, all our we produce a lot of trash, and we need to clean that up. You know, keep working on it, and just keep working on it. And we gotta, you know, we don't need this real. We don't need any ruling class. I mean, we need a state that. There's certain things the state does that we, are necessary, and we need that. But we don't need any, there's no such thing as an inferior or superior human being. And um, that's kind of, a, you know, the, the cause of all crime and war and corruption is people thinking they're more or less important than anybody else. So don't do that, you know. Love and respect the whole entire human race individually and collectively and um, have fun you know making the world a better place and peace be with you